Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I've got a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add an extension for your Microsoft Teams voice user. So I've created another video in the past that shows you how to set up auto attendance and all of the features that are available within Microsoft Teams voice. And that includes being able to procure numbers in this portal and then assigning them to users. For the longest time, Microsoft didn't have any ability to add extensions to users, which they've recently added. And they actually do reference it in this article here. If you scroll down into this particular section for auto attendance, you'll notice here that you can do a directory search by dial by name or dial by extension. And if you have it as dial by name, it just allows you to say the person's name. And it'll say, if you just say Tom, and there's two Toms within the organization, it'll say one for Tom Holland or two for Tom Segura, right? So there's two different aspects that you can put in there. Um, but a lot of people I know wanted the extensions because that's how the legacy phone system they were using worked before. So in order to move, they wanted those to still be in place. So you have a couple of options. This is mainly where they're referencing how you add these extensions in there. It's just an attribute within the Azure Active Directory portal that you'll need to add to one of these fields here. You can do it a couple of different ways, one of which is just simply going into the administrator portal here, and you can add the phone number this way just by saying manage contact information. And you can put in the office phone like this format here. So this is just their phone number, semicolon extension equals, and then put it in now that way. If you're syncing up from your local Active Directory of AD Connect in place, you'll need to add this into the telephone attribute field in there. It won't allow you to save it here and if it's if it's a hybrid environment where you're syncing up from the local AD. So keep that in mind. The last method of which is to use PowerShell. So you use the change online commandlets to connect to the MSOL service. And then you just set the MSOL user and define the phone number that you see here. The end result will be this, which you put in here as well too. So you can, the easiest way if you're doing this uh, for one user, it's just simply to go to the Azure Active Directory portal and put that in there. But if you're doing it for many, you may want to do it via PowerShell. So within the auto attendant here, you want to go in and these are the couple of the different settings. This is your main queue where people call in and they access your various features there as far as um, calling in and getting the phone prompt with the different options that they have available to call. So when you go through here, you can see, you can put all these messaging in there as far as what the prompt's going to say, what options they have, but then you have this dial by name, dial by extension option. You want to select this, and so that person who's on the line that knows the extension, while they're in the auto attendant queue, they can simply type that and press pound, and they'll be redirected to the normal business person uh, that you're trying to redirect with the extension. The other bigger piece here is just making sure that you have all of this set up pre beforehand and adding this in as well too it does take about 12 hours to propagate from my experience so just keep that in mind if you set this up and try to call immediately it's not going to work it's not going to happen um, so just give it a day or you know just give it that 12 hour period they reference that in their documentation here as well too but you do want to wait a little bit as well so keep that in mind and then when they call in i just wanted to show what that would sound like so I'm gonna go ahead and call this user right now that I added the extension to. I'm gonna call the main line first though. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Now I'll press in the extension. Transferring your call to Nick Ross. And immediately directs. So it's easy as that, and this person would then get called and be able to pick up the line. So these are the settings that you need to do. Just keep in mind, and you'll see that you, if you deny it, it gives you that message up top there. But um, keep in mind that these are some of the things that you need to do and also the propagation time that you have. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.